Uh, in other news, uh, uh, we're on to audience participation now, and there's a lot of this. Science. Science. Is it actually science this time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of things fall under the bracket of science. Yeah. Um, specific question uh, that I've done some research on. Any thoughts on the campaign against sex robots? No. You have no thoughts? Oh, right. Do I have? Yeah. People are saying that sex robots are uh, objectifying women. We've covered it briefly. But yeah, there's a, there's a whole campaign of it. The only thing that I will say about They're this, they're just feeling threatened. Fuck them. Well, again, it's that. This is what this is what led to people blame looking for something to blame. Yeah, it's like these robots. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, but they're they're going to make women. Uh, they're going to increase the beauty standards of women. Are they? No, they're not. Are they? Are you sure? No. Why do you th- Why do you think this? Well, think about it. I have. What do you think's going to happen? How many people who are fucking a robot wouldn't yeah. rather be fucking a person? And then even if that was the case, if you, are you saying that women are going to be desperate? I guess they're saying that the apocalyptic feeling of women wanting to procreate and being unable to because men are fucking plugs. Uh, no. I'm, I don't think that's ever going to happen. No, this is bollocks and it, it's absolute <laughs> horseshit. Like they, and it's weird how like the shoe's on the other foot now after they've been saying for years like, oh, we don't me- need men anymore after all the fucking sperm donations. We've got all of the yeah. stuff that we need to carry on the race. It's like, fine, we'll go fuck a machine then. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, well, then is that, that's a good thing, right? I mean, yeah. if you are able to select... A, I mean, I think to become a sperm donor, you have to pass and test. Would you rather be harassed by a guy that you don't want to fuck mm. or would you rather him be at home fucking his washing machine? <laughs> But just, I think it's, I think people, the problem is people don't really understand a lot. They don't, they're not very open and they're not very experienced with a lot of life in general. But sex is always the weird one that people get freaked out by. And you go, I think people just don't understand the difference between sex and making love and <laughs> sex and, and like procreating and starting a family. That is a big yeah. difference there. Yeah. And you go, right, well, to put it this way, if your parents' marriage could be saved by a sex robot, would you want them to do that? Yeah. Or would you rather them have a potentially bad divorce, a potentially bad, lonely solo life. Yeah. You go, well, maybe a sex robot would solve this. Okay. Bring in the sex robot. Mm. Uh, And they bring in, but the campaign against sex robots is a genuine company or a movement. And uh, believed, um, there's some of this, under their chapter on ethics of robotics, they said, we believe in the benefits of robots and technologies to our society and human cultures, but want to ensure that robotics develops ethically and that we do not reproduce inequalities with their development that could further reinforce disturbing human lived experiences. So they want robots to be equal. I believe. Uh, Whilst also not being equal. We're not proposing to extend rights to robots. We do not see robots as conscious entities. We propose instead that robots are a product of a human consciousness and creativity, and human power relationships are reflected in the production. Human power relationships in production, design, and proposed uses of these robots. As a result, we oppose any efforts to develop robots that will contribute to gender inequalities in society. Oh, fuck off. That's what I mean. Like You're just looking for someone to blame. Yeah. Are you saying that the robots that could potentially rule the world and destroy us all, they might actually be... What gender will they be? Yeah. You know, what? what is it going to produce gender inequality in some way? Or is it just going to change humanity? It's... Uh... Stuff like... Self-driving trucks and stuff. That's a big thing in America at the moment yeah. is automated labor. There's a lot of fear about automation. With robots. And you go like, well, it's a good thing. Yeah. It's just change and people need to see yeah, how they can like, change. We've gone through this before with the industrial with the revolution. T-1000. <laughs> <laughs> and like a lot of people lost their jobs then, but but we 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 now have different jobs. Yeah, for the betterment of yeah, society. Because we don't have to do that crap anymore. Yeah, and it's not even a case of... Uh, there was a whole negative thing of learn to code, because that's the future or whatever. And that became an, a banned term on Twitter eight months ago. But it's just like, yeah, change will happen. You can see that or nothing changes. What do you want? Well, there's road deaths every year. How about we solve all the road deaths? I yeah. can't remember whether I went into it last week, but uh, I, had a, I had a thought about... Um, you know, there's this whole thing about there's too many shootings in America and how are they going to solve it? Yeah. It's been widely known for a long time that if the news stops reporting on it in a in a compassionate oh, yeah. way, yeah. Then, then it would stop it. it. Would... So 
it's before they get to the extreme of how are they going to take my guns away? Just be like, oi, Fox, stop publishing uh, manifestos. Yeah. It will save lives. It yeah. will mean that they won't need to be as much gun control. Why don't you just do that instead of, well, is it a semi-automatic this, or is it an assault this, rifle? This, the is same this, goes is for all of them. Like, all of yeah. the fucking companies are just as bad. But to be fair, I did I did look into it. I tried to find the the uh, one of the most recent manifestos. And it was quite difficult to do. So I think they have tapered down a, a little bit. But they're still showing photos of the shooting happening. Yeah, and who's that to benefit you're for? You're still making them infamous. Yeah. Like, I mean, there was one, was the two pictures of one of the gunmen walking in with a rifle and ear defenders on. Yeah. And I think anybody think who, who would want to do that would be like, that's amazing. I want to do that. Yeah. So you go like, just stop it. And people, yeah. less, less mass shootings will occur. Yeah. Like the, the people have been telling you for years and still you do it. Yeah. And... You go like, well, instead of, before you get to, yeah, if the whole take your guns away thing is this whole big, horrible thing, mm. just start telling the news companies to yeah. stop getting people killed. Weirdly, like, I, I think the first outfit that actually stopped publicising um, was um, uh, the Daily Wire, uh, Ben Shapiro's right. thing. Like, they, they made a big stand, um, I think it was around about... Actually, I, I can't remember which shooting yeah. it was. There have been so fucking many of them. I think the BBC um, was always quite good on it during the IRA stuff that was going on in like the 70s. Oh, I, I don't know. I think there was there was a definite difference between... They weren't being glorified car bombings or anything like mm. that. And yeah. it's just like, yeah, it, it just seems like a weird thing that people just kind of forgot about. You go, like, no, if you, just stop glorifying them. Yeah. Stop promoting them like they were a film yeah. or a theme park. And then maybe it'll happen less. And yeah. it's like, no, actually, they're going to take our guns away. It's like, well, only if... The news. Oh, you can't control the news. Well, yeah, they shouldn't be able to be restricted in what they say, but they have to take responsibility for what they say, right? Mm. And if that responsibility means more more children will die, hey, if you're happy with that, yeah. you're allowed to be judged for that. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, I don't, uh, but I don't yeah, in, don't make your robots create gender inequality. Right? How many? Um, uh, how how many women over the years who've bought vibrators have bought one that is both that the, bought a realistic one that is of average male genitalia size i'd have to ask <laughs> go, <laughs> yeah, yeah go yeah, and yeah, consult yeah. but the chances are they haven't the chances are they've bought one that is the ideal size for them or mm. that is quite substantially larger than the average average size is that not doing the same thing like yeah in the w- by their definition it is but it's just it's just another app well, that's you the know thing. what I mean? You're I like, don't there'll care. There'll be robot people, robot like, things. Yeah. That will, you'll get for your house. That will, like what they got? There's, they've already got robots that fucking clean your house floor. Yeah. Drive around and like pick up stuff. And there's things that help your plants grow by moving it into sunlight more. All these little robotic inventions that will happen. And having sex with it is probably just another feature they'll add. Yeah. Like if you if you're, gonna, you're probably going to pay a huge amount of money for a, a domesticated robot that does all your chores for you. Yeah. And then what you should pay an, an extra ten percent for a fuckhole. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, there's a difference between sex and the, <laughs> just, the, and the mechanic. Anytime you order anything, it's just a little checkbox. It's like <laughs> fuckhole. <laughs> a little paperclip pops up. <laughs> Did you forget to request a fuckhole for this thing? I've done a count. There's no, only four. No, there's no. only four fuckholes in your house. <laughs> what if you get bored? I've got one in each room. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Can have too many fuckholes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess the what's the difference between a robot and a sex robot? Apart from the obvious that you can fuck it, it's probably not. It's not as big a deal as people think. <laughs> no. People just get used to it. It's yeah. that. It's the same argument you could argue for porn being allowed on phones. Yeah, you go like you used to have to go and buy it in a shop or find it in the woods. Now, yeah, now you can just get it on your phone. I mean, is that not the same thing? It's just more ease of access. Mm. You go, oh, maybe that's warped everything. Well, maybe it's warped everything. Maybe it's changed things. Yeah, but it's happened. So you just have to kind of accept the good with the bad. Wi-Fi is great for phones. It's changed the world. Yes, yeah. there's porn, and probably most of it is porn. But <laughs> the small parts that aren't porn are very good. Yeah, and that came from space. So maybe it was Anne McLean's plot all Porn along from space <laughs> yeah. that was a whole thing is the iphone wouldn't exist without the apollo missions something like that i have no idea yeah i think neil degrasse tyson talked about it he was saying how 
how do you get these technological innovations? It's because of extreme scientific exploration, where it's like, oh, yeah, how yeah. are we going to get into space? How are we going to get this into space? Well, yeah. we have to make it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, yeah, yeah, make yeah. it work, and then that translates to phones. And like, humanity reaps the benefits of the byproducts of the things that they've yeah. done for these big missions. Yeah, so yeah. stuff like Wi-Fi probably came from, we need something to communicate to space yeah. stations like, like radio waves. GPS wouldn't stuff. exist without military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that jazz. Yeah. Anyway, um, in, in other science news... Robots and Racism. A study conducted by the Human Interface Technology Laboratory in New Zealand, Hit Lab New Zealand, like a radio station, <laughs> and published by the country's University of Canterbury, suggests people perceive physically human-like robots to have a race, and therefore apply racial stereotypes to white and black robots. So, if there's a robot with black skin, there's more racism going to be targeted at it with people who are racist against black people. This is something that we need to figure out. This is what this basically is saying. The colours have been found to trigger social cues that determine how humans react to and behave toward other people, and also robots. Uh, the bias against black robots is a, is a result of bias against African Americans, lead researcher oh, Christoph not this Botnick crap explained. Again. It is amazing to see how many people who had no prior interaction with robots show racial bias towards them. They did an experiment. Oh, I, I just remember what the experiment was. I need to read that out word for word. Uh, bu- 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 the robots used in the study are clearly robots, but have human-like limbs and a head, with exterior complexions that are white, which is to say pinkish or black, or really a deep brown. In the shooter bias test, black and what? white people appeared, uh, appeared, and robots appeared on a screen for less than a second, and participants were told to shoot them if they were holding a weapon. What a great way to test racism! What? Here's a gun. <laughs> An image is going to pop up. If that image has a gun, shoot it. And it'll be up for a second. And they're That's basically ridiculous. saying... <laughs> guns like a are weird black. Way to do science. Guns are black. You f- if, you, if there's a load of white robots <laughs> that aren't holding a gun and then suddenly a black robot shows up, you're looking for black. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. But the, the, the test showed that more black people without guns were shot than, more, than white robots without guns. Like right, and it's just like oh, that is yeah. They're like, oh, that's I love that as a scientific. You're matching test. color and shape. You're not <laughs> it's just testing theories with assault rifles. Is- <laughs> Climate change. Where do we land? All right. Well, if you see a sun, shoot it. What? <laughs> Science. Uh, run a simple Google image search on the term robot, and you won't see a lot of color, as pointed out in the study. These ro- most robots are white, is what they're complaining about. Right. You go, okay, I'm, I'd argue why make robots skin anyway. I can understand that it could be good for some, like, some people might feel more comfortable around them. But we'll integrate. Phones don't look like people. We talk yeah. to them every day. Just have it without skin. It'd be fine. Oh, but what about the colour of the gears? It's, okay. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Like, every... And again, you're trying to cater to racists. Yeah. Like, they're racists. <laughs> Turn the fuck off. Every, every, every bit of, like, recording kit that I've got is black. I don't Racist. perceive it as black. <laughs> like, it's it's just, that's the colour it is. Like, if there's a... If the, you get design trends and all kinds of stuff where, like, for, for like, ten years an iPod will be white. And yeah. now they're all black. Like, it, it's just... It's how it, it's trends. It doesn't mean anything. But it's also just stupidity. I mean, human-shaped robots. This is what the article says. Should represent the diversity of humans. Why they're robots? Uh, imagine a world in which all Barbie dolls are white. All Barbies are white. I mean, there's Barbie subcategories where they're not Barbie. They're just owned by Barbie. Yeah. And there's like Barbie's friend Deborah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Something but like that. Yeah. But because when you Barbie, say Barbie, the character Barbie, is white. Yeah. When you say Barbie, you think of the Barbie doll that's white. Yeah. You don't think, oh, what? You mean Deborah? No, I mean Barbie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Barbies are white. And yeah, there's a whole thing about if every like there's this whole thing about you know what race should. Barbie dolls be and there should be equal representation or statistical representation of all this kind of stuff but you just go I just don't think I think you're tackling like the lowest problem on this pyramid I think like in terms of robots how about we build the robots first and then figure out if everyone's a racist why don't why is why are we trying to what's your argument before we start developing uh colored 
robots of robots of any color that we need to first of all answer the philosophical question about what do we do with the racists <laughs> it's like it's a separate issue you're yeah. adding you're looking for something to be angry about yeah and you're just choosing robots stop having sex with that's that a robot's got too many fuckholes <laughs> yeah, this robot's this robot's filipino yeah yeah <laughs> all right you're the one with the issue here yeah you're creating the issue within yourself Dominant, that's something, something to be fucking do.